maxed out experimental and alien multi-tool, it doesn't get any better than this. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how to upgrade your experimental multi-tool and alien multi-tool to the maximum. I'm talking almost 10,000 damage on the alien multi-tool and half a million units for scanning fauna. Yeah, it's insane. If you're wondering where I found these two S-Class multi-tools, take a look at this video and come back two minutes later. Before we start, please press the subscribe button. The channel has been growing really nicely and I'm excited to see what the future will bring us. Let's try to hit 15 likes on this one and I'll make a video on another method to earn money and nanites at the same time. Okay, now let's get into it. We'll begin with the experimental. I found that any 3 star Corvex system will have a higher chance at getting you a better upgrade. You wouldn't want to go on a 1 star Viking system for a scanner S class module, it doesn't make any sense. Oh and by the way, one crucial thing, you'll need a lot of nanites. I went through 20,000 to get these and these tools aren't even maxed out. For the experimental upgrades, you want to focus on the flora and fauna analysis rewards. Getting 9000% on both of these is the upgrade you're looking for. Once you bought the scanner upgrade, go in and out of your starship and reload your autosave. So you can buy the upgrade multiple times in a short time period. Try to go to the anomaly terminal and unlock every blueprint. The blueprints I installed for the experimental are the survey device, advanced mining laser, optical drill, waveform recycler, a force field for protection, and a geology cannon just for fun. Let's just say it wasn't very fun. <laughs> Next up is the almost 10k damage alien multi-tool. I could have got more damage but I didn't have enough nanites. To get the maximum damage out of your alien multi-tool, you need to build the scatter blaster. It's a shotgun type upgrade, very effective at short range, but useless at long range. When buying the upgrades, you need to focus on the rate of fire percentage and the damage. The highest rate of fire you can get is 15%, but 14 is really good as well. The highest damage I've seen is 3%, but 2 will do just fine. While you're placing these upgrades, make sure to place your S-Class upgrades in this pattern and the blueprints on the other side. Try to make it so at least 3 of your upgrades are in contact with the Scatter Blaster module. As for the other upgrades, I got the Pulse Spitter, the Blaze Javelin and the Geology Cannon, which was a big mistake. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance! Here it is in action. And please don't make fun of my accuracy. And that will be it for today's video. If you made it this far, please comment Magikarp down below. I really want to see how many of you will actually do that. And thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.